All right, let me know how uh, how it's coming through. We'll be at home. Walden Bulldogs will be facing Acorn, as some call it. Acorn, as we call it around here. This will be our first home game since our big win at Fountain Lake Friday. So we're going to see if we can get this game in before the weather kicks in this afternoon. So started a little bit early. So we got Jaron Howe on the mound. I'll announce the rest of the starters here in just a second. Ball one inside. Be inside corner for strike one, so the count will be one on one. All right, I believe the count will be two and one. Dead ball hit by pitch. Give number 22 first base. Got number three up for the Tigers. We don't have a lineup for, for Aker and we'll try to grab one in between innings. So we got runner at first, no outs. Very close play at second base. Uh, coach probably going to get on to his young Tiger over there for not sliding. Made it a lot closer than it should have been. So runner in scoring position, no outs. Can't be 1-0. Actually 2-0. Two, Sorry about that. Caught the outside corner for called strike one. Swing and a strike for strike two. Swing and a miss for the first out of the inning. Swing and a strike for strike one. Should be called strike two inside corner. And third strike. Didn't get the announcement on the fielders. I'll do that real quick. Senior Lucas Nix at first base. Senior Scout Young second base. Senior Noah Patrick shortstop. Senior Caden Rogers at third. Got Jaden, or I say Johnny Williams out there at left field. Cole Bailey at center field. And Joseph Rogers at right field. So count be 0 2. I'm not sure what we're doing right there. We have uh, K 
count was as a ball called ball Looked like we wanted to throw to third and we hesitated and tried to not throw the ball and it wound up slipping out of his hands went in between third and shortstop right there which scored a run on an error by the catcher and there's your third strike All right, we'll be going into the top, bottom of the first. We'll be right back. Come see us at Atlas Coffee Company, a proud supporter of the Waldron Bulldogs, where we offer a wide selection of hot and iced coffees, teas, and lemonades. We also offer a lunch of homemade soup of the day and paninis, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. with free delivery inside city limits 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Go Bulldogs! Stop on in, rain or shine, to Rock Cafe, seven days a week. The tall tales and breakfast start at 5 a.m. The lunch buffet starts at 10. Whether you're bringing a hot date or a bunch of hungry boys, we have a friendly staff ready to serve you a delicious meal. Conveniently located on Main Street in historic downtown Waldron, Arkansas. Think like a bulldog and come clean your plate with us at Rock Cafe. Go Bulldogs! Got Caden Rogers, third baseman for the Bulldogs, leading off. It's a shot down third baseline. Ball was dropped by the third ba first baseman. It's a good catch by the third base. Just couldn't make it over there. Got right fielder Joseph Rogers up to bat. Got Caden Rogers on first base. Called strike one. Attempt to get him down there first. Called strike two. I think 
coach is telling him to be more aggressive up there at the plate. Look for Caden Rogers to go right here. Foul, to, foul ball. Foul ball. So he'll come back. Not sure what happened right there. I think he hit the glove. Called interference. All right, so that was called, I believe that was called, uh, I think he hit the catcher's glove right there when he swung. This was called out. Noah hits a shot to third, which is going to advance the runner. Third, one out. I got Scout Young, second baseman for the Bulldogs, up to bat with two outs. Let me correct that. Two outs. Runner on third. Again, I believe Joseph was called out a while ago for hitting the, I think he hit the glove on the catcher. Thought it was going to be a foul tip, but apparently hit the glove, knocked the ball out. Foul ball for strike one. Count be one ball, one strike. Two outs, runner at third, bottom of the first. Need to find a way to get this guy in. Ball two, so the count be two balls, one strike. Count be three and one. Gonna pop that up. May fall in the gap right there. Center fielder came in to field it, which gets him out of the inning. So we'll be going into the top of the second. Akron leads one nothing. Arvis is a proud supporter of the Waldron School District and Waldron Bulldog Athletics. Arvis is happy to continue the decades long standing tradition of the Knox Dozier Memorial Scholarship and the Arvest Basketball Classic. As you walk into Walden Arvest, you'll be welcomed by familiar associates who are ready to assist you with finding financial solutions. It's like a small town community bank, even though it's, it's much larger than that. When they talk about experiences, I talk about Arvest. Proudly supporting the Waldron Bulldogs, Heritage Memorial Funeral Home and Crematory has been dedicated to serving Waldron, Mansfield, and the surrounding area since 2008. With four funeral home directors and two full-time in-house embalmers, our staff can assist with all aspects of your funeral and cremation needs. We are proud to be the only full-service funeral home in Scott County that also provides on-site embalming and cremation services and on-site monuments. Whether you need our services immediately or are interested in pre-planning for the future, we are here to serve your family during the most difficult time. Heritage Memorial Funeral Home, creating healing experiences because we care. For more information, come see us, call us, or visit us online. All 
All right, here we are at the top of the second. Akron leads one nothing. Got Junior Jaron Howe on the mound for the Bulldogs. Strike two. Tried to throw his curve right there. Just didn't break quite in time. So one ball, two strikes. Count be two and two. Looked like a good pitch. Man, that looked good. So full count, no outs. I'll go with the fastball right here. So take a base. Called strike one. Gonna be hit back to Jaron, who's gonna make the easy out at first. Oh, almost got him a double play at second. Very close. I'd like to see us turn around and. See Jaron turn around and throw the second first, and then let your second baseman throw over the first. But we got the one out. Runner at second, one one out. Ball one high. All two outside. Called strike one. Inside pitch count be three and one. Gotta trust this defense here and just throw some strikes. Gonna put him on base, so we'll have runners at first and second. See how long before we have a mound visit. Strike one. Can't be one one. Foul down the third baseline for strike two. I 
believe the count's going to be one and two. Swing and a strike for second out. All right, got number six for the Tigers up to bat. Runners at first and second, two outs, top of the second. Hit by pitch, so we're going to have bases loaded. Looks like he was trying to throw curveball right there, and it just didn't break. So we got number 22 up for the Tigers. Bases loaded, two outs. And try to work out of this jam. We got a timeout. Third base coach. Hold strike one. Said he don't wor need to worry about any pitches other than his fastball right here. Trust your defense to get this last out. So, two strikes. Probably don't want to float one over the middle on this guy. Probably work your edges right here, make him chase something out of the zone. Yeah, that was a hard hit ball that just went foul. Right there's where you need to put it. Get some out of the inning. Good job by Jaron by placing that ball just outside the zone right there. Get us out of a jam. We'll be going into the bottom of the second. We'll be right back. McDonald's of Waldron, proud supporter of the Waldron Bulldogs. Come on in as we have completely redone our lobby recently to support all our Bulldogs that come in before the game, during the game, and of course, stop in after the game. We offer all kinds of different discounts through our app. You can get it through the drive-thru, come in the lobby, or order takeout. Our hours are Sunday through Thursday, 5 a.m. to 11. Friday and Saturday, we're here till midnight. We love our Bulldogs, and we welcome you in. Fly the W. Pop Rants, we're local. We're owned by former Bulldog Parker Cox. Pop Rants is your one-stop shop for your apparel and decoration needs. We offer screen printing, embroidery, graphic design, several other services. Your order can be met with low minimums and fast turnaround time to ensure your satisfaction. Visit us at 298 East Main Street or give us a call at 479-207-3851. We're here to serve, go Bulldogs, and fly the W. All right, got first baseman Lucas Nix up to bat. Pops 
going to be a pop-up in foul territory over there. Third baseman makes a good catch for the first out of the inning. Got left fielder, sophomore number 16, Johnny Williams up to bat for the Bulldogs. Strike one. Outside corner. Swing and a strike for strike two. And caught him on the outside for strike three for the second out. All right, got catcher number 31, Dakota Taff, up to bat. Two outs, bottom of the second. Ball one high. Ball two outside. Pitcher Jaron Howe and coach for the Akron Tigers race for the foul or the missed ball behind catcher there. Swing and a strike for strike one. Count be two and one. Count be two and two. Just swing at anything close right here. Protect the plate. Going to foul that off down the first baseline toward the visiting dugout. Fighting to stay alive with two outs, two strikes. Two balls, two, two, and two. And fight and steal. Foul that off. It's going to get a hold of one here in a second. Just keeps fighting them off. Just got to do with two strikes. Can't let anything close. Take a chance. All right. In the dirt for full count. We can keep battling right here. So if we can find a way to get on base, got pitcher Jaron Howe on deck. And that'll be a way to get on base right there. Gonna All right, so we're going to put us, uh, looks like Gabe Nibbles in there for a taff so we can get his catcher's equipment on. Got a courtesy runner at first base. Like to see us watch a pitch right here and then try to advance the second. He's not holding him on at all right here. So pitcher steps off. I think the coach is telling him he's going to have to hold him on. We're not going to give him second. And get a little bit bigger. I 
I can see him get a little bit bigger lead right there. He's got plenty of room to, to be able to die back. Give yourself a chance to steal second here. He should be going. Okay, so it's a hit by pitch right there. Should have been going nonetheless. All right, we got center fielder Cole Bailey up to bat with runners on first and second. So we can find a gap to push this ball through. So ball one. Low one outside, good eye. In the dirt for ball two. So I'd like to see Gabe get a little bit bigger. There's nobody holding him on right now. I'd like to see him get a little bit bigger. And he's going to get it into the gap right there. He's going to score, should score one run right here. Good job by Cole. Hit a shot right into the gap in between center and and left. So All right, got Caden Rogers up to bat. Got runners at first and second. Two outs. Bottom of the second. See if we can keep this keep this going with two outs. And hits a shot right down third base line. Where all he had to do was step on the bag. Good decision there by the third baseman. Good stop. Gets him out of the inning. Not for the Bulldogs. Tied up. 1-1 one one going into the top of the third. We'll be right back. Chambers Bank, located at 418 South Main Street, has proudly been serving Waldron and Scott County for 43 years. Family owned since 1930, we have 23 branches throughout the state that offer a wide variety of banking services for all your personal and business needs. Visit us at one of our locations or on our website at chambers.bank for more information. You can also call us at 637-3191. Chambers Bank, the natural choice for the natural state. We go into the top of the third. Score tied 1-1. Got Jaron Howe on the mound. Let's go to tab behind the plate. Called strike one. Again, Lucas Nix at first. Scout at second. Noah at short. Caden Rogers third. Johnny Williams left field. 
hits the shortstop. Ball was a little bit low there. Lucas couldn't handle it. Gonna get him over to second base. Be a charged error for the shortstop. So we got runners runner at second. No outs. High pitch for ball one. Going to hit a shot out there to the center fielder. Could score a run. Looks like it's they're waving him in right here. Got him in a pickle. You got to throw it home right here. There you go. Running back to third. Running back to third. That's. Coach is getting on to his runner right there for stopping. <laughs> I think he wanted him to go. Bulldogs were fortunate right there to, to hold him at third. Got him in the pickle. Did the right thing by getting it to the catcher. Pushing him back to third. Worst case scenario, that's what you want to do. You want to give up the run. So runners at second and third, no outs. Strike one. So Jaron just needs to work his corners right here. Just like that. Foul tip for strike two. Can't be 0 and 2. Runner's second, third. Got him for strike three, swinging. And we throw down the third. I'm not sure why. And I think that's what the coach is yelling. There's no reason to throw down the third at that point. Wouldn't have got him anyway. Caden Rogers missed the ball, goes out in the left field. And just like that, they're back in the lead, 2-1. Strike one, count be one one. Two one. One out. Let me get that corrected. The out earlier was on the strikeout. I didn't get that updated on our scoreboard. Got it correct now. So count be two and two. Full count. And that's going to advance runner to third. We need to eat, eat that. Don't try to throw it down. Got runners at first and third. Got number one for the Tigers up to bat. Again, got Jaron Howell on the mound for the Bulldogs. Swinging a strike for strike one. Hey, 
Going to foul that off for strike two. See what we throw right here. Count 0 and 2. One out. Ball one outside. Going to try to turn a double play and got it. Good job, Bulldogs. Turn a double play right there to get out of the inning. Not before Akern scores one run on an error. Her throw to third base. So we'll be going into the bottom of the third and we'll be right back. ABC Printing and Signs has a variety of services to offer. We have a full line of brand name, team, and corporate apparel customized to fit your needs. Looking for a fundraiser? Give us a call today. Don't forget to team swag. Set new trends with your organization's needs. Want to finish that look with some custom made decals? Yes, we do that too. West Fraser Mansfield is a southern yellow pine sawmill located in northwest Arkansas on the Oklahoma-Arkansas border. The mill produces a variety of products from 2x4s up to 12x12 timbers in lengths from 8 foot to 20 foot. Got right fielder Joseph Rogers up to bat for the Bulldogs. Starting out at the bottom of the third. And hit by pitch, which not uncommon with the lefties. Got Noah Patrick, shortstop for the Bulldogs, up to bat. Runner at first. No outs. Bottom of the third. Bulldogs trail two to one. Showing bunt. Called strike one. I like it. I like the steal right there. Good job by. Joseph over there, advancing the second base. Get out of that double play option. Was called strike one. Sure he was on a take pitch right there. Got runner in scoring position. High and outside for a called ball one. Hit by pitch. So we got runners at first and second. Me. 
guys. Second baseman, senior, number one, Scout Young, up to bat. Runners at first and second, no outs. Bottom of the third. Hits a shot to the pitcher. Fielder's choice right there. Advances the runners to second and third for one out. First baseman Lucas Nix up to bat. Runners at second and third. One out. Let's see what he does here. See if we got a green light. Hits a shot to the second baseman. Gonna gonna score. Gonna score one right there. Tie the ball game back up. Good RBI. Got left fielder, sophomore Johnny Williams up to bat. Runners at second and third. Looking to drive another run in. Called strike one outside. So if he can find a pitch here he likes and drive it in the gap. Foul off. Right over the right side here for strike two. Two outs. Bottom of the third. And hits a shot to the shortstop. Makes a routine play over there to first to get him out of the inning. Not for the Bulldogs tie the ball game up two to two and we'll be right back If you can make it over to the track field tomorrow, the seventh graders will have a track meet. I believe the field events will start at four o'clock. So if you get a chance, come over here and support the seventh graders. They don't get a whole lot of track meets in seventh grade, so opportunity to see them right here in your home stadium. Come cheer on the Bulldogs and the Lady Bulldogs. So we're in the top of the fourth and got called strike one. Ooh. 
called strike two right there. Good placement by Jaron Howe, junior pitcher for the Bulldogs. And called strike three right there. up for the Akron Tigers. Ball one outside. Ball two inside. So count be three and oh. Can definitely feel that wind picking up. Any ball hit to the outfield is gonna be a chore for the outfielders to catch right now. That wind's gonna be pushing it all over the place, coming in from the south. Called strike. Two, so be a full count. And gonna walk him, gonna put a batter on first base. one outside. Ball too high. Jaren needs to take a deep breath right here. Just throw some strikes. Don't worry about anything. Get a strike on the board. Push your defense, give them something to swing at. Ball three way outside, gonna advance the runner to second easily. So the count be 3-0. One out. We are on the top of the fourth. Catcher having a little vis quick visit with Jaron. There you go. Oh, that pitch looked good. <laughs> that pitch looked good. So it was called ball four. Runners at first and second. One out looking for that. Double play. Looks like Coach Lazenby is going to come out for a visit. Going to go, look like we're going to have a pitching change. Going to go with freshman Eli Cluthy. Jaron did a good job on the mound for the first four innings right here. Give him a break and uh, bring Eli in, see what he can do with the score tied 2-2. Two to two. We'll be right back.
All right. Like I said, we got Eli Cluthy on the mound for the Bulldogs. Score tied 2-2. Runners at first and second. Wind's picking up, making it difficult. these pitchers and uh, it's going to be difficult on the outfielder to get a ball up in the air. So ball too high. There you go. Good, good placement right there, outside corner, called strike one. Gonna pop that ball up, see if third baseman Caden Rogers can make the play, and he barely does for the second out. Like I said, that ball gets up in the wind right today, it's gonna be moving all around. He pretty much snow cone that dude in his glove there it looked like he was fixing to fall down looked like he was fixing to come out of the glove but he held on made a good play for the second out of the inning looks like we're going to have maybe a courtesy runner we're going to do a courtesy runner for the catcher that's down there on first base with two outs This is a good time for the younger freshmen and stuff to get in games. Get out there and run some bases. Allows time for the catcher to get his equipment on, speed the game up a little bit. So we got two outs. Alright. Okay, so I gotta reset the Called strike one. Gonna be strike two. Don't worry about anything right here except the the batter. See so if we can get out of this inning. Runners on first and second. And throws a curveball. Catcher couldn't quite get to it. Then got two strikes. Good hustle there by Dakota Tap behind the plate. Had a good attempt at it. Just fell just inside the backstop. Outside corner for call ball one. And looked like he got him swinging right there. I would have asked for help right there. Counts two and two. Looks like he held up. That's what the umpire's calling. That's all it counts. And got him for strike three right there. And just like that, we're going into the bottom of the fourth. The score tied at two to two. We'll be right back.
All right, got sophomore Dakota Taff up to bat. Catcher for the Bulldogs be called ball one. Keep up this. Two ball, one strike. Find a way to get on base right here. And wild pitch for count three one. Wanna make it be there right here. Find a way to get on first base. Get something started. And there we go. So it'll be ball four. Let's see if we do a courtesy runner again. I'm gonna do a courtesy runner. Pitcher Eli Cluthy up to bat. Runner at first. Got a courtesy runner at first. steps off takes Gabe back to first there Gabe can still get a pretty good lead right here and ball one outside I can see Gabe be aggressive get a big lead find him a pitch to take off the second Hits the third, bobbles it a little bit. He's got double play. Looks like they probably called interference because he did not slide at first, second base. Um, when you're trying to turn a double play, you got a slide right there. It allows for the allows for the attempt to attempt there at first. So, as bad as I hate to say it, that was the correct call because he needs to slide. Cole Bailey up to bat. Called strike one. the ball just over the shortstop's head previous innings second at bat see if we can get something started here with the two out rally ball. ooh <laughs> uh, that one was a little bit out there so now he's going to have to be in protection mode that was a Quite a bit outside. That's asking a lot out of your batter. High and outside. Almost the identical pitch right there. Called for ball one. 
So, one ball, two strikes, two outs. Going to have to defend here. Anything close. He's going to be setting up on the outside, I figure, again. Throws it in the dirt for cold ball two. Again, had an interference call at first base to give us the second out. Okay, be full count. Find a way to get on base. Got Caden Rogers on deck behind him. Gonna set up probably for an off speed pitch. Be in the dirt, gonna get him down there to first base. That's what I'm talking about. Find a way to make something happen. Got Cole over there on first. Got Caden Rogers up the bat. See Cole be aggressive right here and try to steal. Attempt to pick him up right there. Got past the first base, but not enough for him to advance to second. Gonna get there easily. Oh, oh, what are we doing here? Yeah. Got the third base. Very fortunate right there. Almost got in a pickle. Got us in a bind. Called it. Looked like the shortstop attempted to tag. Missed the tag. Very fortunate right there. Got Cole at third base. He's asking for a better angle from the guy behind home plate. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, but the umpire that was right there probably not going to reverse that call. So any pass ball right here, Cole needs to be coming. Pops up to the sh first, to the pitcher. And we're out of the inning going into the top of the fifth.
All right, going into the top of the fifth. Again, we've got an Eli Cluthy on the mound for the Bulldogs. Tigers were able to work out of that last inning. The runner on third, two outs, hits a pop-up to the pitcher, gets him out of the inning. Have to take advantage of those opportunities when they're presented. Like to see us take a couple of pitches right there when you got a runner at third and the pitcher's been throwing several in the dirt. Give yourself an opportunity to score. So we're gonna have two strikes. Close pitch right there for call ball one. Not a bad place to put the ball. Should be in defense mode right there. Puts it in the exact same spot. I would probably scoot over about three inches on the mound and don't change my mechanics of that throw any. If you can pull that ball in just a little bit more. And he hits a shot to third baseman who makes a great throw to Lucas Nix makes a great catch over there for the first out of the inning that was a good catch and good throw by senior Caden Rogers at third base good job by Lucas there stretching out almost overextended himself on on the play but was able to keep his foot on the bag called out one Ball one, strike one. Strike two. And he pops one up. Shot out there to left field. Left fielder was unable to to judge it. Went just over his head. Ball got up there in that wind and just kept carrying for a stand-up double. Getting in the weather like this you better be going backwards right off the bat because it's hard to recover if you come forward I think that's what happened I think we came forward and then didn't give ourselves enough time to recover backpedaling and went right over the head of that might be Johnny out there in left field So again, count 0-2, one out, runner at second. Can't afford to be giving up any more runs. Called strike three right there. That's a good pitch. A good placement on that fastball outside. Strike one. Ooh, that's close. Good pitch right there. Good breaking pitch. 
Empire just said it was a little bit high. Good stop by Dakota. Keeping the keeping the runner at bay at second. Two outs. Count two one. Count two two. Swing and a miss. Strike for strike three, got us out of the inning. We going into the bottom of the fifth. Score remains tied, two to two. Be right back. Got left left hander Joseph Rogers up to bat. See if we can be a little bit more patient out here in the batter's box. Ball one in the dirt. Ball two. That's what we're talking about. You know, look at some pitches. Hits a shot out there to right field. Shortstop Noah Patrick up to bat. Runner on first, no outs. Again, I'd like to see us be aggressive right there with our speed on first. Get a good lead. Get all that double play. And there he goes. Through a curveball slide. Going to be there. Called strike one was on a take pitch right there. So now he'll 
Be ready to swing away. No outs, one strike. Runner at second. Ooh. Almost hit by pitch right there. Count be one and one. Two and one. He needs to just be up just be patient. Pick out pick out the ball he wants. Don't swing at anything outside the zone. Make it be there. And fouls that ball off. Big cut. With two strikes, I like to see him take a little bit off of it. Just put the ball in play. See if you can advance the runner. Find a gap. Put this ball through it. The wind has died down, which isn't in our favor. It's a hit finds that gap right there. Gonna get him to third base easily. Got runners at first and third, no outs. Don't want to hit into a double play right here. I'd like to see Noah try to advance on this pitch right here. There you go. Not a whole lot of catcher can do right there because you got a runner at third. See if we play a little bit of small ball. If we bunt this ball, See if he's going to swing away or if he's going to try to lay one down and get a break up this tie ball game. And he hits a shot right over the second baseman's head. Gonna score one run. All right, good hit there by the second baseman to drive in a RBI single. Runners first and third. Dangerous throw there by the first or the pitcher over there to first. He misses that and it's going to score a run easy. Look for Scout to go ahead and advance right here. Advance the runner. Strike one. Count B. Get that straightened out. O oh, one. Runners at second, third. No outs. Gonna be swinging away, swinging away right here. Freeze on any line drive. Tag up on any pop up. Gonna be. Good throw there by the catcher down to third base. Yeah. 
Come on. Couldn't t couldn't tell where that was going at. I lost it. Wind push that back probably saved me coming right at me. I lost it in the air right there, but not sure exactly what the count is. I think it's O two. Just got a battle right here. Runners at second and third. I'm gonna try to kill the ball. Just gonna put it in play. Get you an RBI out of this deal. So I did have it right. Two and two. Had a big home run at Fountain Lake the other day. Had all our bats working at Fountain Lake. Come back in the top of the seventh. Big win for the Bulldogs. Swinging a strike for strike three. I'd like to see Johnny lay down a bunt right here and go ahead and get this. Got one out. Let's go ahead and get this runner in. Very fortunate that was called the ball. Again, like to see us play a little bit of small ball with a good speed at third base. Put the pressure on the put the pressure on the other team to make a play right here. Count two and oh, one out. Come on, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And that was able to score a run right there. Sounded like he tipped that off, but it, I guess it was just uh, the sound of the catcher's glove right there missing it. So go ahead and scored the run. So it'll be two balls, one strike. Runner at third. Pitcher steps off for a second, gather his thoughts out there. Take a deep breath. Uh, fast ball for a 3-1 count. Good job by the catcher right there, stopping that ball from rolling back here to the backstop. Surely saved a run for the Tigers. Going to be called ball four. Got number 31, Dakota Taff up to bat. So we're going to have a mound visit real quick. So it looks like we're going to have a pitching change. So we'll take a quick little break and we'll be right back.
Come see us at Atlas Coffee Company, a proud supporter of the Waldron Bulldogs, where we offer a wide selection of hot and iced coffees, teas, and lemonades. We also offer a lunch of homemade soup of the day and paninis, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. with free delivery inside city limits 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Go Bulldogs! Stop on in, rain or shine, to Rock Cafe, seven days a week. The tall tales and breakfast start at 5 a.m. The lunch buffet starts at 10. Whether you're bringing a hot date or a bunch of hungry boys, we have a friendly staff ready to serve you a delicious meal. Conveniently located on Main Street in historic downtown Waldron, Arkansas. Think like a bulldog and come clean your plate with us at Rock Cafe. Go Bulldogs! All right, got us a new pitcher. I think I see. Fix the. Got one out. Runner at third and first. To go to Taff up to bat. Advance runner to second. Called ball one. Gonna be a pop up to the catcher for out number two. Freshman pitcher Eli Cluthy up to bat. Runner on third, two outs. So, so it would be called strike one. Gonna be ball one outside. Two outs. He right, pops that foul for strike two. Coach is telling him if you're going to swing the bat, swing the bat. I think he tried to get the bat barrel back. He just didn't have time to get it back without fouling it off for strike two. So it can't be one and two. Runners at second, third, looking to f find a gap to drive this ball through. Some runs across the plate. Going to be outside pitch. And he pops that up over to the softball field. Keep battling. Let's 
see where we're set up. Look like he's set up outside again, looking for a fastball outside. And floats another one. Man, he's throwing them right down the gut for for Eli right there to tee off on. And he just can't quite straighten it out. Let's hit two foul balls off of that. Oh, he'd like to have that pitch back. Again, setting up on the outside corner. Way to leave that ball alone for a count of two to two. Gonna be high for full count. Gotta swing at anything close. Defend the plate. Don't chase anything. Probably gonna set up outside again. Set up right down the middle. And foul ball right there. Fighting to stay alive. So he's asking the catcher to go out there and have a mound visit. I think the umpire's wanting to speed the game up right here. Trying to get this game in before the storm. Setting up inside. Oh, yeah. And swing for strike three. And we'll be going into the top of the six. Bulldogs lead four to two. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. Starting the top of the sixth. Bulldogs lead four to two. Laker and Tigers. Strike one call. 
the Tigers coach over there telling them to be aggressive the plate not looking to walk put the put the ball right in the exact same spot outside corner that's a good place to put it might come back with the inside fastball got him on the outside right there for called out number one Gonna pop that ball up. Caden Rogers made a good effort for it over there from third base. Falls just out of his reach for strike one. <laughs> strike two. Strike three, good job. Good job where he's putting the, his pitches at. He's working that outside corner, playing right at the corner of the plate in the strike zone. And then if it's called strike, he's pushing it just a little bit outside on the next pitch, getting a better to swing at a pitch that's outside the strike zone. That's what you want out of your pitching. Work the corners of the plate. Try not to float anything down the middle unless you had to. And there he goes working it again for strike number two. And I'm probably not putting it anywhere other than right there again. Oh, got him. That was another good shot right there. So we'll be going into the bottom of the sixth. We'll be right back. Up to bat for the Bulldogs be center fielder, number two, Cole Bailey. <laughs> Swing and a strike for strike one. So 
set up again outside. So ball one high, so it can't be one on one. Pick out a pitch right here and drive that out to one of those gaps in the outfield. The outfield's playing incredibly shallow. That's where you like to burn them on that. Big cut. Big cut by Cole for strike number two. Foul ball. Fighting to stay alive with two strikes, one ball. going to hit it hit it just to the left fielder who made a good play on the ball for out number one I'd like to have had that win we had just a while ago got Caden Rogers up to bat like I said, the wind died down right, right when we went out to bat. I'd like to have had that wind right there. It would have carried that ball a little bit farther. The, the infield's playing incredibly shallow on us. It's not going to take much to get over their head. Just got to get it there. They're having a, it's not the speed that they're used to from this pitcher. It's really throwing off their time and hitting lots of balls down the third baseline foul. They're going to have to have a little bit more patience. He's giving them, he's giving them pitches to swing at. He's got to be more patient and wait on it. So two ball, one strike, one out. Going to have another mound visit, and the umpire is going to be none too happy about that. He's ready to get this game complete. Make something happen right here, Caden. Find a way to get on base. Count be three and one. Don't want to swing at anything outside the zone. But pick you a pitch if it's there. That's going to send him down to first base. All right, got left-hander Joseph Rogers, right fielder for the Bulldogs. Got Caden Rogers on first. Let's see if we can... Still get out of that double play. Ball one. It's a good job by not going immediately. Catcher does a good job getting up off his. Getting in a good stance to be able to throw the ball. He needs to be going. Foul ball right down the first baseline. Like I said, just slow 
much slower pitcher than they're used to and they're they need to wait on it just a little bit longer getting a little bit ahead of pulling those balls foul see if we steal right here I'd like to see us steal this be ready to dive back Ah, called called strike. That's all right. Advance the runner to second base. So now the coach lays and be advising Joseph. Go ahead and with the count two and one. Go ahead and choke up on the bat. Get this get this ball in place. See if we can advance that runner to third base. Not, not sure what he's going to do right here. Big cut for strikeout number two. Got shortstop Noah Patrick up to bat. The bats have been struggling for the Bulldogs today. Just not used to, like I said earlier, not used to this slower speed. Don't have the patience to wait on it. It's a called strike. Caught the outside corner. Got the green light to take a big cut right here on the second pitch. Pitching that outside corner really well. He's gonna have to step up to the plate a little bit to be able to reach that. He's gonna call that a strike. So you gotta you gotta hack at it. He don't like his pitches low, but he he will give you that outside corner. Okay, catcher setting up way outside right here, trying to get you to chase something. And hits one. It's going to be way out to the outfield. Going to score a run easily. Going to be a stand-up triple. Good job by Noah. third two outs find a way to make it happen setting up way outside again be patient high ball one Pitcher steps off, puts Noah back at third base. Noah's getting a big lead. Any pass ball, he's going. A good hit right there to the gap, gonna easily score. Going to, oh, triple. <laughs> Pulled the anchor up and got to third base. <coughs> All 
right, found a gap, pushed the ball through it, scored. Throwing error sends Scout to third base, shifted gears and made it all the way over there. His mom screaming at him to to run, run forced, and he got to third. And hits a shot to third base. Man, what a great play by the third baseman over there. It was a hot hit ball. Made a good glove on it, made a great throw over there for the third out of the inning. And the Bulldogs lead 6-2 to two going into the top of the seventh. All right, we are back. Going into the top of the seventh Bulldogs lead, six to two over the Akron Tigers. Got Eli Cluthy on the mound for the Bulldogs. Got some timely hits with two outs last couple innings. It's extended the lead maybe a home run right there hits a shot over the left field wall to score a run it's like that it's six to three waldron that was a monster shot by the tiger never any doubt once it left the bat Definitely the best hit of the evening by both teams. Pop up to second baseman, Scout Young for the first out of the inning. It's a good job by Scout waving off shortstop Noah Patrick right there. You like to see good communication on a pop up there in the infield for out number one. Good placement right there. Keep working that outside corner. He's done a good job of that the last few innings. Want to go back to that pitch. Definitely seeing what happens if you float one across the middle. 
and, and we did just then on that one. Um, fortunate. That's a big cut by the Tiger for strike two. Work that outside corner. Just like that for out number two. See if the Bulldogs can get this last out. Hitting six to three. Strike number one. They're going to take some big cuts right here in the top of the seventh trailing. Strike number two. See if he goes with anything off speed. Maybe change up for a breaking ball. Just off the outside corner for called ball one. And hits a little ball to the pitcher. And it was a throwing error by the pitcher. Um, that's tough. It's tough. You got to make a good throw right there to end the ball game. Got to shake that off and uh, find a way to get this last out. Strike one. Strike two, big cut by the number 41 for the Tigers. Work the outside corner to this again. Strike three called, and the Bulldogs secure the second win in the last two games. It's a good job by Jaron earlier who had the mound and uh, Eli Cluthy right there the last few innings to close this ball game out. Bulldogs win six to three in the top of seventh. Hit a home run right there at the top of the seventh to make it interesting right here in the latter inning. So let me check our schedule for the week. I believe we play it. We play Pottsville tomorrow at 4.30 and Mina Thursday, Friday. So Mina here Friday and we'll play at Pottsville tomorrow looking for our third win in a row for the Bulldogs. Uh, if you can make it, great. If you can't, make sure you try to make it to the home game here against Mina Friday. If you can't make it, make sure you tune in to Bulldog TV. Hopefully, we'll be live streaming that. And uh, again, like we said, we have a junior high track meet tomorrow starting at 7th grade, grade tomorrow starting at 4 o'clock. That'll be field events. So make your way over there and cheer on the Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. There will be no JV game, so we'll go ahead and close this out. And... Uh, Good win for the Bulldogs, fly the dub.